How does a survival action differ from a wrongful death case? A survival action is basically what it sounds like. It's a, it's a case that can be brought if the person who was, ended up dying in the accident survived the accident for some period of time. So a survival action is something that, it's a claim that is brought for damages to the decedent. So that would be for their medical expenses, their pain and suffering, their loss of earnings, but it's limited to the period of time between the accident and the death. So if they only live for a week, you would make a survival action for their medical expenses, for their loss of earnings for that one week that they missed work, and for any property damage that they incurred. But a wrongful death case, on the other hand, is for the survivors, uh, for the for the heirs. So let's say the people who survive the death of their loved one. It's for their damages, their emotional losses, their financial losses. So those are different uh, in when you can bring them. They're different in the types of damages you can seek. And uh, one thing I've noticed though in my practice is that you don't always wanna bring a survival claim even if the decedent lived after the accident for some period of time. Because oftentimes you will just be bringing a claim for medical expenses. You know, let's say they lived for you know, a week after the accident. Their emotional damages, that could be very serious or whatever, but, but if you're just getting a claim for their medical expenses, you're basically just making a claim to pay back their insurance company who paid for their medical expenses. So it doesn't always make sense. However, if, if the decedent had some assets and is going to have their estate is gonna go through probate or they have a lot of assets, that perhaps can be attached by the hospital or the bills would be paid out of the estate. You might want to make the survival claim so that the estate stays complete so that the heirs all receive the money they were supposed to receive in the via the will or the trust or, or what have you. So it's really, it's really complicated as to whether you want to bring a survival action or not. And that's why you want to seek a, a consultation from a wrongful death attorney um, so you can determine whether that's the right move for you or not.